So what's a CT scan of the sinus like? This is a CT scanner. It's called a Zoran Mini Cat. It's made specifically for sinus x-rays. It's got much less radiation than the conventional CT scanners, about the same amount of radiation as a chest x-ray. So let's see what it's like. I've asked Aida to come and situate me. Lean your head all the way back. Uh -huh. I'm going to place two sponges on the side of your head and bring your chin down for me. That's right. I always forget that. I'm going to place one more strap across your forehead to reduce the motion. So that keeps you stable. Now you're ready? Yes. It's going to take only 10 seconds. Let's see if that's right. And I'm supposed to be very still. That'll be hard for Dr. Bob. I didn't feel a thing, and the CT scan of the sinus has been done. Wait a second, let's go look and see what it looks like. So here we are. This is what a CT scan of the sinus looks like. Actually, the patient is looking at me. So this is the left side, this is the right side. When we see blackness, that's great, there's air in there. And on this sinus, it looks great. What we have to do is follow this little area right here. That's called the osteomiatal unit, and that's where all of the sinuses drain. Now, if this is blocked, we can do two things. The surgeon either removes this little area there. There's no packing. There's no bruising. There's no bleeding. And if he wants to, he can go do the balloon sinuplasty where he puts a little balloon up in this area right there, inflates the balloon, it opens up the area, and then he deflates the balloon. It's left open. It's less invasive. That's called sinuplasty. Your surgeon will know exactly what procedure you need. So remember, the CT scan will give your doctor information that nothing else will.